Today we have a 2004 Cadillac Escalade. We'll be replacing the starter motor. This is the 6 liter. Uh, I believe the 5.3 and the 4.8 are very similar, but this is the 6 liter. So follow along, we'll get this thing fixed. First thing we want to do is disconnect the negative battery cable. We want to remove the oil dipstick tube. Uh, it's a 15 millimeter bolt right here. And then it should uh, just separate. There's an O-ring down below and it should just separate out of its hole. So I want to jack it up, put it on jack stands and pull the passenger tire off. If yours is four wheel drive like this vehicle, we want to take uh, this nut and this nut off. That's for the transfer case a uh, support bracket. It's 21 millimeter. We'll just take the nuts off for now. We won't push the bolts through yet. So under the vehicle, we have a 10 millimeter and that holds the transmission uh, dust plate on. We we'll want to take that off. We we'll want to disconnect this connector here. And we have these 13 millimeter of bolts. Those come out. Really won't focus, but that's the back side of the connector so you can see how it disconnects. So that's the connector there. Getting it with a pick is all I needed. Now the starter should slide forward and out of its home like that. And so this bolt head is in the way, so we'll just slide it, take this nut off, slide it over. Oh, it doesn't make sense, does it? The manual doesn't make sense. So according to the manual, it says that this bolt that we remove that outer nut and just a second go off uh, it says it's in the way but if you twist and maneuver it's not in the way so don't believe them it's not in the way get this little heat shield off so now we have some electrical connectors uh, that we can get off we need to get off the main uh, power and then the um, S terminal needs to come off. So this is through the wheel well. You can see right there is another, oh, hold on, there, that's another connector. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and unplug that as well. It's so time to get the main power and the S terminal off. Uh, here's the transfer case. So I'm looking back towards, you can tilt this so you can get access to it you can tilt it and get a extension like this and this just has a little wobbly that's enough and um, about a six inch extension and you can get it uh, from this little access so when you take that main power uh, cable off just hold the starter because it, it'll want to drop once it's free and you can actually break that s terminal so that'll be what we want to do next take that s terminal off it's an eight millimeter so once you got the old starter out, just line up the new starter. Make sure uh, everything looks the same. Um, good to go. Go ahead and uh, slap it in. And if you want the AC Delco, this is the part number uh, that we're putting in. So go ahead and uh, clean off your copper contacts uh, here. And then the main power right there. Clean it off real good with a wire brush or whatever you have, piece of emery cloth or sandpaper or whatever you have, just to clean them up real good before we put them back on. All right, now we can put our S terminal on. And now our main power. All right, there we go. Tighten that down. Oh, of course, the new one is a 15 instead of a 13.
Mmm, tasty dirt. Okay. Don't forget our heat shield. Can't forget our transmission piece first. Just takes a little maneuvering. Eventually it'll go in. Make sure your cables fit where they're supposed to. Your plugs and stuff. We'll plug this back in down here. Don't forget that plug up top that we unplugged. Now we can put our main starter bolts in. These starter bolts are 37 foot-pounds. Now we can put our transmission uh, dust plate bolt back in. Now we can put our dipstick tube back in and put a little silicone paste on this o-ring uh, so as it goes in uh, it won't rip or anything. Just a good lubricant. If you're struggling finding the dipstick tube uh, hole it's kind of hard to to see, um, but you can look through the wheel well with a flashlight, and you can kind of see where the hole is for the dipstick tube. And you just kind of maneuver it, wiggle it. You know, have to come down here, see am I on target, go back up, move it, am I on target, and then just find this little hole. But yeah, just with some patience. So now we can put these, tighten these back up. They're 70 foot pounds. So my heat shield um, wasn't on all the way uh, correctly, so you can take this uh, fender well out here and then you can get access. It's kind of tight, but you still uh, are able to maneuver that heat shield, take it off if you need to, to reposition it. All right, battery cable is back on. I'll go ahead and fire it up. Do it again. Alright, well there we go. That is a confirmed fix. Well, there you go. That's how you can replace the starter motor on an 04 Cadillac Escalade. The Yukons, Silverados, Suburbans will be all very similar. The 6 liters, what we were working on, the 5.3 liters are exactly the same. So it spans over some models in, in over a couple years as well. Some things to keep in mind. The manual had me remove that bolt or, or slide that bolt over i don't know why it didn't make sense when i was doing it i'm like this isn't helping it seems like it's getting more on the way I, I don't understand that but if if that's what you do and you're like oh yeah this is you know the bee's knees this is what i need um then it it was shown because i followed the manual until it didn't make sense and then i stopped um, that step anyway starter is pretty heavy so just keep that in mind um when you <clears throat> pull it down and you disconnect the um main power that positive lead going into it uh, just be prepared it's heavy when you're putting it back in you know be prepared in that way too for a little muscle fatigue it got my arms you know my, my biceps pretty pretty sore um i'm doing it on the ground i'm a mobile mechanic so a lot of my stuff's on the ground which probably matches a lot of you know diyers so it'd be a different story if it was up in the air um other than that pretty straightforward you know easy easy job uh, i'll have a link as well to the diag how we came to this point of replacing the starter uh, so be sure to check that out as well all right well thanks for watching like subscribe see you on the next one